Hey guys! So today I'm going to do my January favorites. Yeah, I'm in a different place and I'm going to scooch you over and I'm not going to be able to look at the camera because I never can. <laughs> okay. So I am in a different place. I'm in my bathroom because this has better lighting and we're going to test it out and see how it works. Um, so I was going to do a birch box and I just got it in the mail today and I was like, oh my god, a birch box is going to be great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And there's great products in there, just letting you know. But I'm going to wait on that because I'm running so late on this January favorites and I wanted to do it. Um, because why not? It's my first one-ish type deal. So, yeah. Um, so I've got notes on my phone of what exactly I'm talking about because I've got it all around me and in my head and stuff and I can't keep up because I can't think of all this at once. Also, before I get started, I'm so, so sorry that it has been a while since I filmed. I could not think of what I wanted to do. I was waiting for my birch box to come in. I was waiting for all this stuff and it just, I didn't know what to film. And honestly, I didn't feel like filming. There's days where I don't feel like filming. And another pointer, I'm in the bathroom and the kitchen's like right next door. So if you hear people talking, yeah, they're in the kitchen. So, January favorites. So we're going to start out with a beauty. And the first thing I have is my Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup uh, Concealer by Maybelline New York. You guys have seen this multiple times, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive. Especially in my makeup like, tutorial. Um, this is a Holy Grail product. I don't think I'll ever stop using this now that I found it. There's a bug. Hello. How are you? Toodly do. Fly away. Hello. How are you? Oh my god. Okay. But it is a great product. I love it. I will continue to use it. And um, it's something I definitely recommend for people that want a good concealer for covering blemishes. Um, you could probably do like a lighter tone for highlighting, but I didn't get the right tone for that type because that's not what I wanted. So the next thing is um, my cleaner machine. This thing. I got this for Christmas and I should have put the book. I showed you guys. This is the Beauty Control um, Face Cleanser. It comes, the heads pop off on and off. Um, I just got two of the brush heads that just look like this. But yeah, okay. Huh, ah, blonde. Um, you just pop them on and then you put batteries in it and it. It makes noise. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, that's great. It's been clean, cleaning my face. Don't you? If you get one of these, do not use it a ton because it does. Um, depending on what kind of brush head you have, it does start to irritate your skin if you use it too much. So don't do that. What I've been using with my cleanser, uh, with my face cleaner, is this cleanser. This is the Simple Sensitive Skin X or Simple Foaming Cleanser rich and mild this is a foam so it comes out like a foam this little pump it is awesome it gets my face so clean after i take off my makeup it feels great it's not you know it's really good so that is that really recommend this if you want just a nice um not rough doesn't have any exfoliating beads just a nice cleanse cleanser yes okay okay spot treatment this has been heaven for me this past month. This is the Clearasil um, Ultra Rapid Action Vanishing Treatment Cream. Um, it has benzoyl peroxide in it and it's acne medication. I think it's saying it should work in four hours. It definitely does. I'm telling you, this is the fastest working spot treatment I've ever gotten. It is so good and it just, it's just like, it's just like a cream and you put it on your blemishes and the next morning or later on in the night, if you put it on at night, it's gone. I mean, it is gone. <laughs> this works so well. So this is a new Holy Girl product, but it is kind of on the pricey side. I will say that. But my mom picked it up for me, so thanks, mom. I'm gonna talk about my straightener and my curler. This is my straightener, obviously. It's a straightener. Um, this is what I used to straighten my hair lately. Um, ever since I got my hair cut choppier, have I filmed since I got it hair, my hair cut? It's already grown back a little bit, but yeah, I got it and it's more choppy looking. When I first got it done, I was like, oh my gosh, I had the Miller hair. I was so happy. But yeah, this is my um, Conair. 
Conair Infinity Pro straightener. This is the best straightener I have ever used. I will never ever buy a Chi. I will never buy a, I think there's something called a P now. There's so many straighteners. A Bellamy I might think about because I really want to try Bellamy, but this is so good. And um, the heat setting, I think you can go all the way to 30, but it gets so hot. Like if you put it on 30, it might burn your hair. Uh, for me at least, but this is a really really good straightener, and I feel like I'm not in contact with you guys Really good straightener, please if you ever need a straightener go for this one I don't know if it comes in different colors, but this is a very deep sparkly purple <laughs> Anytime you see my hair curl is because of this amazing thing right here. This is my Conair Go Conair, man. Um, you curl curling wand, amazing. It works so well for my hair, and that's all I'm gonna say. If you want a um curl hair curl tutorial, whatever, let me know. I just wasn't sure about doing that because I'm not sure how that goes. So, next thing, I'm trying to hurry up because I feel like this is um gonna be really long and my phone. Um, my toner. This is the Olay Oil Minimizing Toner with witch hazel who the heck knows what that is if you know comment below all around don't forget to let me know in comments below don't forget to let me know in comments below okay so anyway my toner i've been using just like cotton pads or um cotton balls for this and it gets so much dirt like after i wash my face i even run it over just to see if there's anything left and it gets everything um also, when I use my makeup, simple makeup, remember wipes, I also run this over after, and it is so amazing. It works so well. The next thing is this. This. <laughs> Not the last time, but the time before that. Um, I went and got my hair done, color, like, not really colored, but I got it, um, I don't know what they call it, but anyway. I, she gave me this oil, and I'm so glad we got it, because it's awesome. This is the Matrix Ex Exquisite Oil, Tamanu Oil Blend, um, Biolodge, Matrix and Biolodge, um, a strengthening treatment. My hair, it says for fragile hair. My hair was so damaged because I colored it so, so much. And it's still damaged. It's still not where it was. So I'm trying to get it to, to be healthy again. And it's working. This is the reason my hair is becoming good again. And um, I just like thank you to this product. And thank you to my beautician that did my hair that time. This is so amazing. And I think there's two different oils in this collection. I'll have to see. Every time I've gone to the um, salon. There's always two of these oils, but this is so good, and it comes in such a good size because you're only really supposed to use like a dime size amount for your hair and go from like your ear, the bottom of your ears down, so the ends of your hair. Amazing, amazing product. The last thing I have is a hairspray, and this is the Suave Professionals Touchable Finish Hairspray um, Extra Hold. Holy smokes, me and my mom have gone through so many bottles of this already because it is so amazing. And when you, normally when you read Suave, you think, you know, I don't know, just maybe not, it's not high end, it's not, but it, it feels high end. It is so good. It has such a good hold for my hair and I don't think I'll ever use a different perfume, honestly. A perfume? What? What you talking about? A hairspray ever again because it is so good so please if you need a great extra hold hairspray go get this please it's so good oh my gosh I cannot talk enough about that um movies we're on to random stuff because I have tons of that this month yeah so my first is movies and it has been of course the one direction where we are left from San Siro DVD oh my gosh I don't even know how many times I've watched this movie. I've watched it with my friend Joey. I've watched it with my friend Lizzie. I went in theaters to see it with Lizzie. Holy smokes, it was so good. Then when it came out on DVD, I bought it with my own money. Oh, girl, girl. So good. Like, and you know, I love them, of course. Like, who doesn't know that? But it's so good. And I've cried, and I've laughed, and I've smiled. 
Oh my god, it's so good. And I've watched it so many times, I probably know almost every word to it now. So, favorite movie of the month, because I've definitely watched it plenty of times. The next is TV. Um, I don't really like watch TV, like cable, like, you know, I don't watch that, but I have been burning up like Hulu Plus and Amazon and Netflix, and lately it's really been Hulu because they have like almost all seasons of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and that has been my show this month. It's just drama filled, and I, oh, I just love it. I don't even know. Like, I look forward to watching that show. Um, yeah. It's really good. <laughs> it's just really good. If you like drama, like, Keeping Up with the Kardashians is where it's at. It's so good. And then they have, like, their serious moments and they always make up or whatever. But it's good. That's all I'm going to say. So, because i got to get going. The next is music. I have a lot of music this month. Jamie Scott, his song, Hurricane, he opened up for One Direction at my concert. But that song is so good. Um, there is Where Does Your Heart Go Missing by Rooney. Um, this is a song I liked when I was really little. And it came back. It played on some on my dad's phone the other um, day and it was so, I was like, I just had all these memories. I was like, oh my gosh, this used to be my favorite song and it's still, it sounds awesome. So, next is Home by Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. That song came on Glee and I had heard it before but the Glee version made me like it even more because I love Glee and it's the last season of Glee. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So yeah. <laughs> The next thing, I have so many. Blame it on the night. I don't know who this is by. I don't really know if that's the title, but it's like, blame it on the night. I, I, don't blame it on me. Don't blame it on me. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, the next thing is anything by Hoodie Allen lately. I have been tearing it up, tearing it up because he is so amazing. And I'm so glad I found Hoodie Allen because it's so good. Um, my One Direction record. Holy smokes. Of course, I love this album. I had already had it when it came out, pre-ordered it, done, had it. But I got the record and, oh, it sounded so good. I can't even. It just made me enjoy it even more. But there are some of the pictures that's on it. I don't know if you can even see that. But it has almost all the tracks except for the bonus ones on, the, on it. And, uh, may I just say, it's amazing. And I definitely, I think, wore it out this past month and blared it when people are home. So, that's what I do. The next thing is Sugar by Maroon 5. That song recently, I saw a cover of it and I listened to it and it's just great. I love it. Love Maroon 5. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. For games, I have Limbo, which is something I got a free trial for for four 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 thinking about one direction um which is something i got a free trial for on xbox um and i love it i saw joey graceffa i think play it a long long time ago um i think i might have even been watching it with my friend lou hunter hey lou hunter what's up um and you know spy Darises and stuff all that <laughs> all that stuff um, so that game is really, um, cool. If I can find anything picture-wise, I might put it in here, but you never know. I'll forget. The next thing is the Kardashian app game. Like, I love games that have missions, and that game is like, and I love keeping up with Kardashians, so that just makes it even better. So the next thing is Quiz Up. I recently came back to this game, and I'm number one. Number one. No, I'm not. I'm number, I'm, no. I'm top ten in Missouri on the One Direction app category because I love them and I just wear that game out. So anyway, quiz up. There's tons of categories. Um, I find it better than trivia crack because you can, there's all kinds of categories and you don't have to just do what they give you. It's just whatever. There's Frozen. There's what's the next lyric. There's One Direction, Five Seconds of Summer. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, the next thing is apps and that those could have gone under apps, but it's okay. We have good or Vine because I've been wearing it out this past month. When the On the Road Again tour started, I watched that, which that was kind of this month, but who cares. Um, I love watching people's edits because they are so good at making them. Like, somebody teach me how to make good edits. It's so good. I don't know. I look like I'm about to do something bad. <laughs> it's so good, and I love that app. So, yeah. 
Um, Guitar Tuna, which sounds really weird, but that is an app where you can tune your guitar. It's free. I think you can get the money version, but heck no, I ain't doing that. Um, yeah, Guitar Tuna, amazing app for tuning your guitar. It's so good. So, yeah. The next app is Square Ready or Squirrel Ready. I call it Squirrel Ready because that's how it's spelled. Um, Square Ready, um, lately on Instagram I've been posting pictures of a picture and it's kind of blurred out in the background. I've been doing that a lot lately. And it makes, it just looks cool to me and I saw it on Vine because I'm always on Vine. Um, next I was going to go to my human favorite. This is something that I think I see Ingrid Nilsson doing a lot, Miss Glamorazzi. Um, and I wanted to mention Fleming and John because they are amazing. Um, they made an album. They actually made like two albums, but okay. They made, um, an album a long time ago. I think, well, it wasn't that long ago. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. But it was, it's so good, and I, I just want it to come back so bad. I want other people to hear it. I've introduced it to my friends, um, family. It's so good, and they mean so much to me because they do. Um, you know, Fleming's like my mom, my second mom. She she takes care of me when I'm in Nashville, and she's the person who runs the um, girl group I'm in, Girls Up Loud. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Fleming and John because they both take such great care of me when I'm in Nashville. And they're so talented, you guys. So talented. So if I can find some links and some stuff, I was going to hold up the album, but uh, it's in the car because I listen to it a lot. So yeah, that's my human favorite. They mean so much to me and I miss them so much and everybody else in Nashville cannot wait for summer. So. Now random, even more random, we're going to go to my guitar because I have learned so much in this past month ever since I got it for Christmas. I played it for some of um, you guys actually and on Instagram I post videos. I'm getting better and I'm so proud of myself because that's something I've wanted to do for so long. So props to me. I'm probably going to put the clap thing in here because it's just so good man. So. And the last one, or it's not really a favorite, but it's just another random little tiddly do, whatever that means. I want to say thanks to anybody who has watched my videos or has complimented me on them or comments or likes or tell, gives me, you know, tips or stuff. I don't care. Like, it, you know, that just means so much to me. Um, I've got grown people coming up to me and being like, hey, I saw you post a link on Facebook. I watched it. It was pretty good. And it means so much because this is something that um, I really do care about and I really want to go forward with because it's fun. I love talking to you guys and it gives me more interaction with you guys. So thank you so much and please keep watching. I'm sorry I was gone for a while but I'm back and um, Birchbox video coming soon. So excited. Oh my gosh I cannot wait to open it for you guys. And let you see all this great stuff I got. Because it's my last month of Birchbox. But yeah. I think that's it. I'm going to go. I've got church in a little bit. So. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Yeah.